<laughs> Angolan fishermen are concerned by Asian competitors who possess more means and fish 30 miles off Luanda's coast with trawlers. The average production of a small boat is approximately $1,600. This value is divided by the owner of the boat to each sailor. Fisherman Andrew Hossi has been living off the sea for almost 20 years. Today, he's worried. They have their course. They're in the 30 miles. That's where they draw. 30 miles, sometimes 50 miles. You can't see it here. You want to see the reality? Then go look out to sea. In there, you'll see the reality. Once the holds are emptied and the fish put on display on the quayside, it is time for sales. However, sellers have been complaining about high prices due to small quantities. Today we came to buy this very expensive fish. There is no way. We have no way. We don't have that money as far as to support our children. The beginning of Kasimbu Angola's winter has brought good news to fishermen, mainly about the amount of fish. There is better fish and in large quantities. The concern now is safety and hygiene. Safety precisely was one of the subjects discussed at the fifth meeting of the Ministers of Sea Affairs of the community of Portuguese-speaking countries. Promoting partnerships for multiple benefits for the CPLP and individual countries is one of the goals, according to the organization's cooperation director. When we talk about the ocean, we talk about science, we talk about education, we talk about economy, we talk about climate change and biodiversity. But we also talk about a fundamental aspect that is how, with the population of our member states that is expected to grow, how are we going to make rational use of a resource that we know has great potential in a sustainable way, meeting the development challenges of our community. The creation of cooperation platforms to ensure the sustainability of the seas was one of the issues addressed at the fifth meeting of ministers of sea affairs of the community of Portuguese-speaking countries.